Hey, it's Jeremy here, designer from Sydney, Australia. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to reduce lag in Photoshop 2021. So I know we all love those times when we're working in Photoshop, we're creating this amazing masterpiece, and then all of a sudden, it starts lagging. It's the worst feeling, I'm telling you. And when it crashes, it's even worse. And that's a common theme when it comes to Adobe programs. But you know, you either gotta do a few things to make sure that the process is a bit better and it's a bit faster. So I'm gonna show you some hacks and tricks on how to speed it up so you don't lag. So, so first up, number one is we're gonna use the smooth tool and we're gonna turn it to zero. So I'm in Photoshop here and I've got a, just a quick image. And what we wanna do is we wanna press B for the brush tool. So when we work with the brush, typically what happens is you, you know you select your brush, top left corner, it could be any type of brush, but on me right now, I'm using one of the special effect brushes. So I'm just gonna show you what happens when I click and paint. So you can see it's like lagging behind, it's, 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 and it's lagging. So if I go fast, you can see it's lagging behind my mouse, right? So we don't want that. What basically is happening is that Photoshop has this smoothing tool that tries to smooth out the edges of the brush, which is for a particular effect when you're working with certain brushes, right? So you wanna go to the top, and what you wanna do is click this little icon here. It looks like a circle with like a brush on it. You wanna turn that to 0%. So now what I can do is I'm just gonna change my color. Let's go green. And what I'm gonna do now is paint and you can see now it's not lagging. So hopefully you can see that on the screen. So right now it's not lagging anymore when I change the brush and I can use any brush, right? I can use a hard brush. So you can see that it's not lagging. It's super, super fast, right? So that's number one. Number two is you wanna change the graphic settings. So I'm gonna go to edit and down to my preferences. The shortcut key is control K. If you're on a Mac, it'll be command K. I'm gonna just go into the preferences menu and what I want to do is go down to my graphics. So I'm gonna go down to performance and then I'm gonna to go to graphic processor settings on the top right. And I'm gonna click advanced settings. Now you can see the drawing mode, you've got different drawing modes. It would be either set to advanced, normal or basic, right? So if you've got a NVIDIA graphics card, I'm using an RTX 3080 this will can use advanced but typically what happens is it decreases the overall performance in photoshop even though i've got a good graphics card it's just not optimized properly so what you want to do is change this to basic and then also what i'd suggest is turning off, off most of these so turn off these and also turn off opencl that's gonna um, make it better for me i can leave it on but the main thing is change your settings or your drawing mode to basic and that's going to help you out the next thing you want to do is actually change your memory usage. So in, we're gonna say in the same menu, we've got memory usage, right? So my computer has 32 gigs of RAM. So I recommend having the most RAM you can. So at least minimum 16 gigs of RAM. I aim for 32 because that's pretty good. 24 is decent. But yeah, if you can have 32 or even go up to like 64, that's gonna be crazy. Especially if you're like a, a video editor or photo editor then you want to think about upgrading. So right now, what you want to do is you want to increase this bar. So I can decrease it, which is going to decrease the RAM usage, but I'm going to increase it right as high as I can. You don't want to do it too much because you need RAM for other applications. Like, you know, I use Illustrator or I use Premiere. So I don't want to make this too high. Typically I leave it on around, you know, 70 to 75%. Um, but you want to increase this if you want Photoshop to draw more of those resources from the RAM, which is the memory in your PC or your Mac, and it's going to overall improve the experience. I would also say this is a good time to invest in upgrading to another graphics card. So, you know, if you can invest in a 3000 series, a 3060, 3070, that's great. They are expensive. Or you can get a secondhand 2000 series, um, which would just do as well, but it's going to make the you know, working with 3D and images just a lot better and a lot faster because it has more um, cores and processing power in the actual graphics card. So that's another tip as well. The next one is working lower resolutions, right? So you can see I've also got a history and a cache here, right? And these are for different resolutions. So if I click on huge pixel resolutions, it's going to change my history state and my cache, 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 I don't know levels um, as well so if i just do ui design it doesn't need much power if i use photo manipulation then i'll click on default photos and it's going to increase the cache levels 
If it's huge pixel dimensions, then I use that one. For me, I typically use default photos. That's gonna improve the performance, but I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna press Control N as well. So when you do resolutions, you wanna make sure that it's appropriate size. So if I'm working at like 10,000 by 10,000 pixels, right? And it's like 16 bit and I change that and I make it, um, and I think I'm gonna leave no artboards and I'll create, it's gonna be pretty, pretty crazy, right? It's gonna be a big artboard, either really long or really big. And it's gonna just be heaps laggy. This, right, so it's gonna be very, Big. So if you're dropping images in there and doing art at this size, it's going to be crazy big. So always make sure that when you create a new document, make the size relevant to the project. So whether it's 1920 or 1080 or 4K, make it relevant. Try to work in smaller sizes because it's going to speed you up. The next one is you want to uninstall brushes. So I'm going to go to my brush panel. I've got it here on the right hand side. So you can open that by going to window and click on brushes. And you can see I've got all these brush folders in here right so you can see I can click on them I can open them I can you know drop some brushes you can see this one's like a laggy brush um, which is funny I can do um, half tones um, you know there's all these different different types you do charcoal this is like a smaller brush as you can see there lots of lots of fun there so what you can actually do is we can click this little hamburger menu at the top right corner and then what you want to do is you want to go down and you can see how it says import brushes, right? So I can click import, I can append um, default brushes that would basically reset. And what you wanna do is I can import, you wanna find your brush folder inside of Photoshop. So if I go to my Adobe, go to Photoshop down here, um, what we can do is I'm just gonna go type brushes. Um, and I'm gonna right click and go open file location. I'm just gonna go, here we go, it's in presets. So you wanna go to Photoshop and then you wanna click on presets and then click brushes. And then what I can do is actually delete some of these AVR files, right? Which is fine. The other way is just to click on this and click append default brushes. I don't wanna do it cause it's gonna delete everything but if I click this, um, so basically it'll just put everything to default. You wanna press okay and it will get rid of all, all these brushes. You can also right click and click delete group that would delete the brush group as well from this so that's a quick way on you know not storing data on your brushes another thing that you the next one is uninstall fonts on your computer the way i manage fonts is with nexus font so if you're on a mac you want to go and you want to use this one called and this one's for mac so you can actually download this and delete and manage all your fonts there for me i use nexus font which is a free version so if i open this quickly you can see i've got all these fonts what i can do is select the ones i don't want right click and click uninstall and this is going to just speed up your overall um you know program because it's not going to load all these fonts in because you've got hundred thousands of free fonts you've downloaded online so make sure you delete the ones you're not using only use the key ones you're using another cool tip trip Another cool trick is you want to get kill, click, click. Another cool trick is you want to click on the type menu. What you want to do is go down to font preview size. Mine's on medium right now. So for example, if I press T for the type tool, I want to click my menu and watch how you can see it's like a little bit slow. Sometimes it even lags worse than this. You can see how I'm scrolling. It's like it's a bit slow and delayed. So what you want to do is go to type, click front preview and put it on small. Right, and we'll try again and just click on the menu and it seems to be even worse than before. So basically that will sort of decrease it a little bit more. The next tip is all about text sizes. So I can turn my font preview off. So typically when I press T for the type tool to, to like type in a font, let's just type in here. I love using typography in actually um, Illustrator. It's a lot better. Using Photoshop. But if I click the menu, sometimes you can see it's a bit laggy, right? So when I'm searching, when I'm scrolling, it's just not good. So what you want to do is click on type in the top right menu. And what I'm gonna do is go down to font preview size. I'm just gonna make sure you're not your font is not selected or nothing selected. Go back to type, click on font preview size, and you want to change it to none. Right? So now I'm gonna go back to my font, click the menu, it's not showing any fonts there, and it makes it a little bit quicker. 
So instead of previewing on the side, you just have to know that, you know, what it looks like um, when you're using your fonts. And obviously I have a lot of fonts, so if I deleted some, that's gonna speed everything up. But that's just another tip you can use. So hope you guys enjoyed those tricks and hacks on how to speed up your Photoshop so it's a lot smoother, a lot better, and a lot faster. And trust me, when you do it, it feels a lot better when you figure it all out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if this was helpful or not. Drop a comment below, smash the like button because it helps this video on the YouTube algorithm. And remember to subscribe because I do post graphic design and branding content every week. I love helping beginner designers with tutorials and teaching them how to run a business full time as a graphic designer. Thanks so much. I'll catch you next time. See you later.